Hi, thanks for tuning in. In this set of tutorials, we're going to talk about my all-time favorite type of underwater photography, macro. Being underwater allows us to experience an entire new world. The diversity and sheer beauty of marine life is mind-boggling. Guess what? Macro opens up an entire new world within this world. We are allowed to escape our own world even further. With macro, we can see what the ordinary eye cannot. Surprise elements of detail can pop out and emerge. We can photograph, photograph the very small. We can find somewhat small animals and fill the frame. We can show portraits and convey, per, convey personalities of subjects. We can keep it simple. We have one subject and we can emphasize exactly what we want to emphasize. We can capture particular details of an animal. In my case, I like photographing the eye of aquatic animals. We can discover detail and beauty in the small and mundane, and we can create unique, artistic, and even abstract images which convey shape, form, color, pattern, texture. You can never really go underwater with your camera shooting macro and say there was nothing to shoot, all right? You can also learn things. For example, I'm an ophthalmologist, and I've been taking images under the biomicroscope of human eye disease for many years, but I was always drawn to the beauty and biological diversity of the underwater eye of marine life, the aquatic eye. And I took a lot of pictures and I found things that I didn't even see until I looked at the image later. I subsequently researched some things and with the help of my friend and colleague, Dr. Ivan Schwab, I was able to even publish a book on uh, the eye of aquatic animals. Pretty cool. I've seen things that I could not, with macro that I could not have even imagined. In fact, in my opinion, truth is more strange and more beautiful than fiction or my own imagination. All right? Now, whales, sharks, and other big animals will always get the attention from many, including me. But in my humble opinion, the beauty, the detail, the surprise of the very small um, can be as equally compelling and maybe more unique and creative. Finally, philosophically, macro sometimes helps me put my own life into proper perspective. All right? I have one more thing to say. Macro, in some ways, in many ways actually, is much easier than wide angle in other types of photography. Technically, we concentrate mainly on the lighting and focus of one subject. We don't have a lot of water column. We don't have to deal with too much with the focus and background of other, uh, uh, the focus and lighting of the background. Composition, while always important, is also a little less complicated because we have one main subject instead of multiple subjects where we have to worry about exposure and focus of multiple subjects, position, orientation, profile, mergers, amputations, etc. Okay? Now this series is going to discuss um, some, I'm going to show some examples of why I think macro is so cool. Uh, we're going to have a tutorial on the equipment needed. We'll have one on technique, how to really do it, and then we'll have one on composition with special interest regarding macro, and then I'll show some examples and critiques, and finally I'm, fi uh, finally, I'm probably going to do a little tutorial on super macro and show some examples of how to photograph the aquatic eye. All right? Please download my free outline from my website, theaquaticeye.com, so you don't have to take notes and write stuff down. You can just watch. And keep in mind, I'm not a professional. I have a day job. This is just my own opinion. I really do enjoy trying to help and teach other beginning and intermediate level underwater photographers avoid some of the many mistakes I've made and hopefully more quickly learn to take cool underwater images. All right. Also, keep reading. There's a wealth of information online. There's many ways to do things, not just what I say. And boy, if you want to get one great book, in my opinion, Martin Edge's fourth edition of The Underwater Photographer, just outstanding. And I'd really appreciate any feedback or suggestions you give me, too. So thanks so much for tuning in, and I hope you watch my subsequent tutorials on macro. Thank you.